We are continuing with uh, Acts 15, verses 30 through 32. So when they were sent off, they went down to Antioch, and having gathered the congregation together, they delivered the letter. Uh, we can imagine how the Gentile Christians felt, wondering how the decision might come forth. Would the Council of Jerusalem decide they were really not saved at all because they had not submitted to circumcision and to uh, the law of Moses? And when they read it, they rejoiced because of its encouragement. How relieved they must have uh, been when they saw the grace of God preserved. And uh, they, uh, they saw that they were saved and they were right with God without becoming Jewish first. Encouragement is, is an is a interesting word. It means to call alongside. And there are two kinds of law in the Old Testament, or in the New Testament that we uh, see. Mandatory, and that thou shalt, and it's mostly love. And prohibitions, it's just simply behaviors. We're going to see this throughout the, the New Testament. There are permissive laws. Uh, don't cause someone to stumble. Liberty with self-control. Um, self-preservation. The body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And your law of duty, bring glory to God. Judas and Silas, who were themselves prophets, encouraged and strengthened the brothers with many words. Uh, these two served well in Antioch as visiting ministers from Jerusalem. Judas returned, and Silas was left to carry on further ministry with the Apostle Paul.